Hi everyone, so I have come to show you how to make the um, flip flap folio that I made the other week. I'm just quickly wiping this because it's a bit dirty. Um, I waited until I got a thicker cardstock because I didn't want to spend time inking up um, the white cardstock that I had. So I purchased some of this and I got that from the range here in the UK. It's uh, obviously a craft card and it's A4 and it is 280 GSM. I'm not sure what that is in pounds. So <clears throat> um, obviously I'm gonna be using that. All right, it's nice and thick and I have played around with it yesterday to see you know, how well it, it, um, it scores because sometimes a really thick card, when you score it, it tends to break, but this is absolutely fine. Right, now how I started the other one was making um, like two pockets for the inside. So I'm gonna do it exactly the way I done it before um, because uh, that's how I got my measurements for the actual whole thing. So I'm gonna do that, is that. So putting the shortest side in, I'm gonna take that up to four and one eighth and I'm going to cut this now. This is really thick, so it might take a bit for me to get through this. Yeah, it is. And that's moving. Um, there we go. And that should be the same size. Okay. Then <clears throat> I'm going to put it back in again, lengthways. And I'm going to score, I think, about two and a quarter. I just hope actually I'm in frame there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna lift this up just a little bit. Okay. Right. So I'm gonna take that to two and a quarter and I'm going to score. And then I'm just gonna flip it around and I'm gonna do that exactly the same, two and a quarter. And flip, and that's what's gonna give me my little bits that went inside so I'm going to do that to the other side as well uh, two and a quarter and score two and a quarter and score okay and like I said that's how I started the last one I need to trim that a little bit it went a bit offish or it's just bent slightly um, I'm sorry if you can hear my fan, but it's quite warm again. Our weather is crazy. You get one day it's freezing, the next day it's boiling hot. <laughs> okay, so I've got two of them. I need another sheet of that. Now, where's my ruler? Okay, so obviously I want my um, pages to be a little bit more. So I'm gonna, they're gonna be uh, four and a half, okay? So I'm going to take that to four and a half and I'm going to score. Then I'm going to take that in to, uh, I'm not sure what that is, but it says one centimeter on there. I'm not sure how many inches that is. Hang on a sec. It's about, I'll work that bit out, sorry. Um, Okay, so I had to work that out. So it was three eighths of an inch. Okay, then we'll take that again to a four and a half. And then we'll do the three eighths again and score. Now I need to add a piece on because obviously I want three flaps on this. So I'm just gonna keep uh, half an inch here for a joining point. Oh, I don't know what this is, it keeps moving. Um, should have got my big um, paper trimmer out, okay. So the length of this is Right, so what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to make that seven and, shall we do, yeah, seven and a half. Right, so I need to cut that at seven and a half for the lengthways. I 
if this doesn't, if this keeps moving, I think it's because the cardstock's really um, thick and I'm not used to that, playing around with that thickness. Yeah, it keeps, it just keeps moving. So I need to trim that just there. I'm looking at getting a new trimmer. I want one of the rotary blade ones. Right, so all I need now is another sheet. at four and a half. And it just seems to wobble slightly on this. There we go. And take it to seven and a half. I don't have a lot of strength in this wrist either, so playing around with this thickness this isn't good for my little hands <laughs> okay so that'll get used for something else okay so well, we have that piece there I'm just going to score that and then score it on the other one there that just gives us a, a little a little bit of room for inside when you're adding all the pockets and if you did want to add say a um, little journal or something you can do. So let's score that and then score that. And this is just the little the lip piece that I'm gonna use to attach this to give me my tri fold. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use some tape and some glue to join that. Um, I'm just gonna run that down there, just because obviously you want that to stay. And obviously, if you've got a really strong glue, just use that. Actually, I've got some three-in-one um, beacon, which. I bought because I wanted to do when I was doing something with fabric and I know it gives me a headache and it really has given me a, a headache when I've used it um, I don't know if anyone else suffers from that but oh and I was meant to put some glue in that but this tape is pretty good anyway um, so I just need to trim a little bit there because I think my trimmer was moving slightly when I was doing that okay right so now if you find that that is just you know like too tight you can trim a little piece a little piece off one of the edges if it you know when it folds and it doesn't you know doesn't meet or it's it's stopping it from closing you can actually you can do that okay right so that's my base my basis Right, and maybe it wasn't actually as easy showing in, in the card, the craft card stock. Right, so I'm just going to put this in place. Now, I'm just going to paper clip them on because I don't know actually what I'm going to do with this yet, what theme, because I'm just showing you the basis of how to do this, you know, like the basically the template. Um, and I have actually got another video of the flippy flappy thing at the front, but I'm still going to do that again within this video so that you can, it's, you know, all in a one. Right. We need here, because with the one that I had before, I had a flap that opened up. I should actually get my video up and just like watch it silently while I'm <laughs> doing this. Okay. So you need, obviously you'll need a, a lip and I want that to be, we will do four and a quarter. Let's see if that works with four and a quarter. It does, okay. Oh, no, I need to trim that. And lengthways, it was, uh, right, so if we have it seven, and a half the length so I want seven and a half 
seven and a half and then I'm just going to score this bit because I'm going to need that to attach onto there for my flick okay and yeah that's just perfect or you feel like I could even put it on the back because um, you're going to cover it over anyway okay and that again is slightly off I just don't think my um, tremor is used to well, my hand isn't good at working with the thickness of this cardstock. Because the other cardstock was, I think it was only 210 or 230 that I used. Okay. And obviously, you can put your pockets and things on, right? So, on the front cover, we have the flippy flappy thing. Okay. So, we're going to need another one of these. So the flippy flappy thing is I'm going to do it at four by seven, okay? Um, so we will need a piece that is four, obviously. Score that, take that down to a half inch because we need a flap, okay? And seven inches I think I'm going to break my wrist doing this <laughs> and then with that on the score line here I'm just going to mitre that in so obviously you're going to cover all of these so we'll have like one flap that way that will open up then we're going to have another flap um, which I'm going to try and use it this way so I don't want that <clears throat> that was four so I kind of want that a little bit shorter we'll do three and a quarter three and a quarter and then a little half inch um, flap And lengthwise, we don't want it to be seven. I want it to be five and a half. Okay. And again, we will fold that on the, the crease and mitre that as well. And obviously I don't have the other one now because I sold it. Otherwise, I could show you. So that's that's gonna go on the front. That's too much there. That's gonna go on the front there. That flap will go there, and then we're gonna have another flap coming along, which that is going just to be perfect for that. And we will we will do that. Actually, I want that to be. So that's that that is going to be three and a half as well so we'll do a three and a half there score at half an inch well actually yeah take that off and just mitre that where the score is okay Trying to remember now. Um, okay, so that will flip out, and you can obviously we can we're going to map that. This is going to be a two-parter, by the way. Um, obviously, this part is just the template. Get that over and done with, and then that part is going to be there, like so. I don't know how clear that is because I can't see because of my camera. Um, but that's how that is going to be right and I can't remember what I've done on the back <laughs> okay I'm going to go and have a check in the, on my pictures and I'll be back okay I know what I've done now <laughs> I just had to go and sit and watch my video on this <laughs> right so I've done all that and this what I did was I matted it and then I put an envelope using some um, digital paper. So I'll do that when it comes to 
covering matting and covering all these with pockets so basically that is the first part of how you do this and I'm just going to paper clip all that together like so and then paper clip that on there so I know where I'm at okay and the, I know I left the back just like matted with something but I might do something different on this one right so I'm gonna go and decide how the what theme this is going to be I might do it more or less the same as the last one but this is just the basis of it so it is part one and there will be a part two and possibly a part three so um I hope this was clear if there's any questions about this part then ask um and I will answer and you can join me in part two